Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Absorbance is defined as the logarithm of the ratio of incident to transmitted radiant power through a sample, excluding the effects on cell walls. Alternatively, for samples which scatter light, absorbance may be defined as the negative logarithm of 1 minus absorptance, as measured on a uniform sample. The term is used in many technical areas to quantify the results of an experimental measurement. While the term has its origin in quantifying the absorption of light, it is often entangled with quantification of light which is lost to a detector system through other mechanisms. What these uses of the term tend to have in common is that they refer to a logarithm of the ratio of a quantity of light incident on a sample or material to that which is detected after the light has interacted with the sample. The term absorption refers to the physical process of absorbing light, while absorbance does not always measure only absorption. It may measure attenuation of transmitted radiant power caused by absorption, as well as reflection, scattering, and other physical processes. Sometimes the term attenuance or experimental. Absorbance is used to emphasize that radiation is lost from the beam by processes other than absorption, with the term internal absorbance used to emphasize that the necessary corrections have been made to eliminate the effects of phenomena other than absorption. History and uses of the term absorbance beer Lambert law, the roots of the term absorbance are in the beer Lambert law. As light moves through a medium, it will become dimmer as it is being extinguished. Booger recognized that this extinction, now often called attenuation, was not linear with distance traveled through the medium, but related by what we now refer to as an exponential function. If I0 is the intensity of the light at the beginning of the travel, and ID is the intensity of the light detected after travel of a distance d, the fraction transmitted t is given by t equals ID I0 equals exp minus mu d, where mu is called an attenuation constant, a term used in various fields where a signal is transmitted though a medium or coefficient. The amount of light transmitted is falling off exponentially with distance. Taking the natural logarithm in the above equation, we get minus ln t equals ln i0 i d equals mu d. For scattering media, the constant is often divided into two parts, mu equals mu s plus mu a, separating it into a scattering coefficient mu s and an absorption coefficient mu a, obtaining minus ln t equals ln i0 i s equals mu s plus mu a. D. If a size of a detector is very small compared to the distance traveled by the light, any light that is scattered by a particle, either in the forward or backward direction, will not strike the detector. Boger was studying astronomical phenomena, so this condition was met. In such case, a plot of minus ln t as a function of wavelength will yield a superposition of the effects of absorption and scatter. Because the absorption portion is more distinct, and tends to ride on a background of the scatter portion, it is often used to identify and quantify the absorbing species. Consequently, this is often referred to as absorption spectroscopy, and the plotted quantity is called absorbance, symbolized as A. Some disciplines by convention use. Decadic base 10 absorbance rather than Napierian natural absorbance, resulting in A10 equals mu 10D, with the subscript 10 usually not shown. Absorbance for non-scattering samples within a homogeneous medium, such as a solution, there is no scattering. For this case, researched extensively by August Beer, the concentration of the absorbing species follows the same linear contribution to absorbance as the path length. Additionally, the contributions of individual absorbing species are additive. This is a very favorable situation and made absorbance and absorption metric far preferable to absorption fraction absorptance. This is the case for which the term absorbance was first used. A common expression of the Beer's law relates the attenuation of light in a material as A equals epsilon C, where A is the absorbance. Epsilon is the molar attenuation coefficient or absorptivity of the attenuating species, is the optical path length, and C is the concentration of the attenuating species. Absorbance for scattering samples for samples which scatter light Absorbance is defined as the negative logarithm of 1 minus absorptance, absorption fraction, alpha, as measured on a uniform sample. For decadic absorbance, this may be symbolized as 810 equals minus log 10, 1 minus alpha, 
If a sample both transmits and remits light and is not luminescent, the fraction of light absorbed alpha, remitted R, and transmitted T add to 1, alpha plus, or plus T equals 1. Note that 1 minus alpha equals or plus T, and the formula may be written as a 10 equals minus log 10, or plus T. For a sample which does not scatter, R equals 0, and 1 minus alpha equals T, yielding the formula for absorbance of a material discussed below. Even though this absorbance function is very useful with scattering samples, the function does not have the same desirable characteristics as it does for non-scattering samples. There is, however, a property called absorbing power, which may be estimated for these samples. The absorbing power of a single unit thickness of material making up a scattering sample is the same as the absorbance of the same thickness of the material in the absence of scatter. Optics and optics absorbance or Decadic absorbance is the common logarithm of the ratio of incident to transmitted radiant power through a material, and spectral absorbance, or spectral decadic absorbance, is the common logarithm of the ratio of incident to transmitted spectral radiant power through a material. Absorbance is dimensionless, and in particular is not a length, though it is a monotonically increasing function of path length and approaches zero as the path length approaches zero. Mathematical definitions absorbance of a material The absorbance of a material, denoted A, is given by A equals log 10 phi EI phi ET equals minus log 10 T, where phi ET backslash textile backslash phi underscore backslash text kara backslash text is the radiant flux transmitted by that material, phi E. I backslash textile backslash phi underscore backslash text kara backslash text is the radiant flux received by that material, and t equals phi et slash phi ei backslash textile t equals backslash phi underscore backslash text kara backslash text forward slash backslash phi underscore backslash text kara backslash text is the transmittance of that material. Absorbance is a dimensionless quantity. Nevertheless, the absorbance unit or AU is commonly used in ultraviolet, visible spectroscopy, and its high performance liquid chromatography applications often in derived units such as the milliabsorbance unit, mal, or milliabsorbance unit minutes, mal times min, a unit of absorbance integrated over time. Absorbance is related to optical depth by A equals tau ln 10 equals tau log 10e, e, where tau is the optical depth. Spectral absorbance, spectral absorbance in. Frequency and spectral absorbance in wavelength of a material, denoted A nu and A lambda respectively, are given by a nu equals log 10 phi e, nu i phi e, nu t equals minus log 10 t nu, a lambda equals log 10 phi e, lambda i phi e, lambda t equals minus log 10 t lambda, where phi e, nu t backslash textile backslash phi underscore backslash mathemy, backslash nu carrot is the spectral radiant flux in frequency transmitted by that material, phi e, New I backslash textile backslash phi underscore backslash math backslash new carrot is the spectral radiant flux and frequency received by that material. T new backslash textile T underscore backslash new is the spectral transmittance and frequency of that material. Phi E lambda T backslash textile backslash phi underscore backslash math backslash lambda carrot T is the spectral radiant flux and wavelength transmitted by that material. Phi E lambda I backslash textile backslash phi underscore backslash math backslash lambda carrot is the spectral radiant flux in wavelength received by that material. And T lambda backslash textile T underscore backslash lambda is the spectral transmittance in wavelength of that material. Spectral absorbance is related to spectral optical depth by a nu equals tau nu ln 10 equals tau nu log 10e. A lambda equals tau lambda ln 10 equals tau lambda log 10e where tau nu is the spectral optical depth and frequency, and tau lambda is the spectral optical depth and wavelength. Although absorbance is properly unitless, it is sometimes reported in absorbance units, or AU. Many people, including scientific researchers, wrongly state the results from absorbance measurement. Experiments in terms of these made-up units. Relationship with attenuation attenuance absorbance is a number that measures the attenuation of the transmitted radiant power in a material. Attenuation can be caused by the physical process of absorption, but also reflection, scattering, and other physical processes. 
Absorbance of a material is approximately equal to its attenuance when both the absorbance is much less than 1 and the emittance of that material, not to be confused with radiant exudance or emissivity, is much less than the absorbance. Indeed, phi et plus phi eatt equals phi ei plus phi ee, where phi et backslash textile backslash phi underscore backslash math carat backslash math is the radiant power transmitted by that material. Phi EATT backslash textile backslash phi underscore backslash meth carrot backslash meth is the radiant power attenuated by that material. Phi EI backslash textile backslash phi underscore backslash meth carrot backslash meth is the radiant power received by that material. And phi E backslash textile backslash phi underscore backslash meth carrot backslash meth is the radiant power emitted by that material. This is equivalent to T plus ATT equals 1 plus E where t equals phi et slash phi ei backslash textile t equals backslash phi underscore backslash math carrot backslash math me forward slash backslash phi underscore backslash math carrot backslash math is the transmittance of that material att equals phi eatt slash phi ei backslash textile backslash math me equals backslash phi underscore backslash math carrot backslash math me forward slash backslash phi underscore backslash math carrot backslash math i is the Attenuance of that material. E equals phi e e slash phi e i backslash textile e equals backslash phi underscore backslash math care backslash me forward slash backslash phi underscore backslash math care backslash me is the emittance of that material. According to the Beer Lambert law, T equals 10 A. So A T T equals 1 minus 10 minus A plus E is almost equal to L in 10 plus E, if A much less than 1. And finally, A T T is almost equal to A L in 10 if e much less than a. Attenuation coefficient absorbance of a material is also related to its decadic attenuation coefficient by a equals integral zero to dz, where l is the thickness of that material through which the light travels, and a z is the decadic attenuation coefficient of that material at z. If a z is uniform along the path, the attenuation is said to be a linear attenuation, and the relation becomes a equals a l. Sometimes the relation is given using the molar attenuation coefficient of the material. That is, its attenuation coefficient divided by its molar concentration. A equals integral zero L epsilon C Z D Z, where epsilon is the molar attenuation coefficient of that material, and C Z is the molar concentration of that material at Z. If C Z is uniform along the path, the relation becomes A equals epsilon C L. The use of the term molar absorptivity for molar attenuation coefficient is discouraged. Measurements logarithmic versus directly proportional measurements, the amount of light transmitted through a material diminishes exponentially as it travels through the material. According to the Beer Lambert law, A equals epsilon L. Since the absorbance of a sample is measured as a logarithm, it is directly proportional to the thickness of the sample and to the concentration of the absorbing material in the sample. Some other measures related to absorption, such as transmittance, are measured as a simple ratio, so they vary exponentially with the thickness and concentration of the material. Instrument measurement range, any real measuring instrument, has a limited range over which it can accurately measure absorbance. An instrument must be calibrated and checked against known standards if the readings are to be trusted. Many instruments will become nonlinear, fail to follow the beer, Lambert law, starting at approximately two Australian dollars, 1% transmission. It is also difficult to accurately measure very small absorbance values, below 10 minus four, with commercially available instruments for chemical analysis. In such cases, laser-based absorption techniques can be used since they have demonstrated detection limits that supersede those obtained by conventional non-laser-based instruments by many orders of magnitude. Detection has been demonstrated all the way down to 5 times 10 minus 13. The theoretical best accuracy for most commercially available non-laser-based instruments is attained in the range near one Australian dollar. The path length or concentration should then, when possible, be adjusted to achieve readings near this range. Method of measurement, typically, absorbance of a dissolved substance is measured. Using absorption spectroscopy, this involves shining a light through a solution and recording how much light and what wavelengths were transmitted onto a detector. Using this information, the wavelengths that were absorbed can be determined. 
First, measurements on a blank are taken using just the solvent for reference purposes. This is so that the absorbance of the solvent is known, and then any change in absorbance when measuring the whole solution is made by just the solute of interest. Then measurements of the solution are taken. The transmitted spectral radiant flux that makes it through the solution sample is measured and compared to the incident spectral radiant flux. As stated above, the spectral absorbance at a given wavelength is a lambda equals log 10 phi e, lambda i phi e, lambda t. The absorbance spectrum is plotted on a graph of absorbance versus wavelength. An ultraviolet visible spectroscopy, hashtag ultraviolet, visible spectrophotometer will do all this automatically. To use this machine, solutions are placed in a small cuvette and inserted into the holder. The machine is controlled through a computer and, once it has been blanked, automatically displays the absorbance plotted against wavelength. Getting the absorbance spectrum of a solution is useful for determining the concentration of that solution using the beer, Lambert Law, and is used in HPLC. Shade number some filters, notably welding glass, are rated by shade number SN, which is 7 thirds times the absorbance plus 1. SN equals 73, A plus 1 equals 73, minus log 10T plus 1. For example, if the filter has 0.1% transmittance, 0.001 transmittance, which is three absorbance units. Its shade number would be eight.